was Hal developed? Our physical and cerebral nervous system functions steadily decline with age. I wanted to try to provide assistance with technology, which could enable more people to lead healthy lives. Cybernic treatment doesn't strengthen muscles. Instead, it improves connections within the nervous system. When a person intends to move a limb, the brain sends signals through the spinal cord and the nerve cells to the muscles. Information of the limb's movement returns to the brain from the sensory signal during the motion. Such network loops of signals help maintain the brain's healthy condition. But sickness or injury can damage this network loop, resulting in difficulties moving. Even for a person with a disability, signals sent from the brain to the muscles leaks onto the skin's surface as a very faint signal. We installed innovative sensors on HAL, which could read and analyze the signal so that the robot could be controlled voluntarily by the wearer's intention. What's important is the neural loop between the brain and the other parts of the body. Repeated exchange of the signals will reinforce the synaptic connections and drive relearning. Cybernic treatment improves and regenerates the physical function of the patients who suffer from disease, such as neuromuscular disease. I'm Hiro Kimura, and I'll be demonstrating the uh, motion principle for the hybrid assistive limb made by Cyberdyne Inc. in Japan. When a person attempts to move, the brain sends a command signal down their spinal cord, through the motor nerves, and to the muscles. When these signals reach the muscles, small, faint bioelectrical signals can be detected on the surface of the skin. For a patient with a spinal cord injury, the signal from the brain to the muscle gets interrupted. Even with uh, very, very faint signals at the surface of the skin, the robot can detect them and complete the movement. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to actually control the robot uh, without actually moving my right leg. So I'm going to lift my leg up, bend the knee, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, and then relax. The robot can pick up these faint signals for spinal cord injury patients and help them complete their walking movements. 